Hey guys, welcome to game three between Machine and Tucson. This is going to be BSL season 14 semi-final. Whoever wins this set is going to... So we actually, I kind of did this stuff in between. Did two Machine Tucson games in between doing the Kiko React matches. Whoever wins this is going to go on to face Kiko. Bottom right in corner, we have Machine starting as the Red Zerg, 12 o'clock location. We have Tucson as the Blue Terran. This is on Ascension. Currently... Machine up 2-0. I'm not counting Tucson out yet. I gotta say, I was extremely impressed the previous match to see Tucson transition from what looked like a pseudo the old school player fantasy build with the Valkyrie play. Transition out of that into mech. It is a it's a challenge to transition into mech late game for Terran and survive. Tucson pulling it off, however, not giving him the victory. Mech is expensive and unfortunately getting locked to three bases. We'll see if he has something creative once again to take on Machine. It's very challenging to take on Machine at large. He's got really, he's just a fantastic player and still my favorite to potentially be the champion. I'm not surprised that he's on the verge of a finals berth. Barracks at a forward and awkward location. So oftentimes you'll see Barracks at a forward built location to move out and apply some additional pressure. But with this, I think this is just to try to throw Machine off. Machine on the opposite side of the map opening up with a 12 hatch. But I think what he's... Tr Tucson's trying to do is he's hoping the Overlord Scout, or let's see if this Drone Scout gets confused by this. He's trying to convey less defense. Operate as though, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just going for a quick command center, when indeed potentially going to go for a quick bust. We'll see if Machine falls for it. Machine wandering into the main. Sees two supply depots at kind of an odd location, and is gonna wander in and see like no gas, no barracks. And two Marines now making their way out. And so I think what this is trying to provoke is, yeah, you can go ahead and build additional drones. You don't have to worry about it. Does Machine see the Marines on his way trailing back though? It looks like he does see the Marine making its way back. Finds the SCV, that's going to provoke some drones to go ahead and mix it up. A lot of drones coming off the line to go ahead and defend against this. An SCV actually looks like it's going to get picked off. At least this is some delayed mining time for Tucson. Honestly, at this stage, might even be valuable just to turn these Marines around, knowing that that mining time was delayed. Zerglings, however, in production. Tucson needs to be careful that he doesn't lose a quick one here. A bunker being built on the front. Drones being pulled to that back corner. Bunker about halfway complete. And here come the Zerglings. The drones able to box out a lot of these troops. So getting a complete surround. Marines are gone. Cancellation on the bunkers. So that's going to cost Tucson three SCVs in total. Three Marines. He got two drones out of it. And actually needs to worry about defending his front now. Building a bunker at his natural expansion. This is definitely going to delay getting his natural up. And honestly, he could be in... I don't know that Machine's gonna pull the trigger here. It looks like nice job scouting after this to try to get an eye whether there's additional Zerglings coming. But he could have been at risk of uh, getting run over. Additional SCVs pulling off the line. Ooh, let's see if these Zerglings are gonna spot these. Yeah, the Marines still rallied to the south. And this is also going to delay Marines being built. So actually, if Machine just moves very rapidly into two-hatch Mutalisk, this is going to be a very challenging defense for Tucson. The Marines moving out to go ahead and engage these Zerglings, getting some actually decent damage on them. Tucson playing very aggressively here. Looks like an Overlord. I don't think there was a cancellation there. I think an Overlord might have gotten taken out someplace, and I missed it. Maybe on the forward... Error. Maybe there was a, a bit of a trick. Tucson continuing with the aggression and moving out. That SCV going to get pinned in the corner and wiped out. That is provoking some additional Zergling production. But Lair's just about finished. The second barracks is just coming online. 
Gas hasn't even been taken yet. So I don't know that Tucson's gonna have an answer for the Mutalisks. That machine's gonna be fielding shortly. Natural expansion coming online. A good amount of Zerglings are here to go for a potential bus. Second gas being tacked on. There's the Spire. Machine is moving out a drone to go ahead and grab a third, so it doesn't look like he's gonna go for... But he's in a very strong position here. He has the worker count lead, which is not what you want. At any point in this matchup, really. Tucson still being diligent with that scouting. Wandering in, he's gonna at least see that spire. Two barracks now pumping and engineering being plopped down. He's gonna have to put down an immense amount of turrets. And he's gonna be locked into his base for the long haul. So because of all of the delays earlier, the academy's been delayed, plus one weapons has been delayed. So by the time Stim is even gonna be online, there's gonna be a huge flock of mutalisks in the air. And Machine's Mutamicro is pretty good. Supply cap is well right now for Tucson. So nothing going right for him in this match and his tournament life on the line. He is, it looks like, going to be able to confirm that third hatchery with this SCV. So small graces. Again moving out to continue to try to be aggressive. No medic support with these marines. But Mutalisks now being produced on the way. This is... Very much an illegitimate threat. If he loses these Marines, he's will, he will probably lose the game. Two medics finally being produced. Plus one weapons on the way. Stimpak being finished. Mutalisks already up in the air. Machine is building a preventative sunken colony just in case. But Zerglings and Mutalisks have taken flight. If Machine wants to play this comfortably... He can go ahead and grab this third gas without too much trouble. Turret not getting completed there on the edge. Marines not in position. SEV and Marine getting wiped out. Machine now going to back out. Ooh. Kind of giving a free Mutalisk away there. Just diving into that Medic Marine ball. But going to go ahead and start... Pumping that economy again, his worker count just huge behind this, getting another SCV. And here's the thing, Machine moving up with this Mutalist Karas, I don't even know that he needs to do that. This is one of those situations where it's just bonus for him. Two barracks up, Tucson planning down a factory, range now finishing. So maybe he can go ahead and move out in the field. Plus one carapace is being upgraded. Third gas coming online for machine. Even in workers right now with Tucson. Medic Marines not in position. Group repair on that turret. Machine having a bit of trouble microing this. Losing... Looks like one Mutalus out of that ball. But these are Mutalus he can expend. Medic Marines have managed to sneak around. The Mutalists look like they're going to spot that force as it's moving out. Sunken Colony being built here at the 6 o'clock location. Zerglings and Mutalists moving to potentially engage in Tucson. I think realizing he wasn't going to get anything out of that attack, going ahead and backing out. But Machine currently at 32 drones across three bases. Queen's Nest on the way. I don't know that he even needs to upgrade or bother with lurkers here. He'll be lucky if he preserves this medic marine force as more mutalisks are grouping up to potentially engage. Carapace upgrade is just about finished. And this is well ahead. Actually, never mind. It's about even with plus one weapons. How did that end up being the case? My timing of that all messed up. Those Medic Marines out of position. The Nine Mules poking the front. See if Machine... Wrong person. Does see a sliver of Medic Marines looking to gather. He's repositioning Zerglings to the south. The Mutalists headed that direction as well. 
Hive Tech about halfway finished. Tucson needs to get something done here to slow Machine's economy down. Mutalisk's Lurker immediately being morphed. Single Sunken Colony Lurkers moving up with Zerglings and Mutalisks overhead and that Medic Marine Force getting absolutely ransacked. Absolutely ransacked. Machine up. 23 supply. Evolution Chamber as an afterthought. Hive Tech is finished. Defiler Mound, Ultra's Cavern being dropped immediately. And he has the economy to sustain it. Tucson in a lot of trouble. Does have the double starport. Science facility not there yet. Needs a radiate yesterday. I gotta give it to Tucson to at least be able to rapidly kind of move to stages of the match and at least make it somewhat competitive considering everything that happened in the early game. Mutalis diving in, one of them being wiped out. Additional Marines being cleared out. He's lucky that he didn't lose a medic right there. Honestly, it feels like Machine just cleaning up supply right now. Some Scourge now taking flight. Plenty of Lurkers in various positions along the map. Anitis Canal being plopped down as well. Zerglings spotting that Marine Force. Mutalisks still able to pick off strays and Machine taking a base in the bottom left-hand corner is that confident about his position. Also plopping down macro hatches, which means you know what? He's about to start bringing the pain. Consume. Halfway finished. So you're going to have Defilers, Zerglings, potentially with that Adrenal upgrade. We'll see when that upgrade comes. Machines worker count even with Tucson, and Tucson not in any position to really take a third. He'll be lucky if he can defend his natural expansion at this stage. Needs those Irradiates to pick off those Defilers as they're moving across the map so he doesn't end up with Dark Swarm at his natural expansion. Machine with a six supply lead. Lurkers, Defilers, and Zerglings gathering up at the natural, potentially to start making their way to make a push towards the main, but Machine is one of those guys who will just get further and further ahead. So it looks like he might try to take an expansion at that three o'clock base. Science vessels moving out. Need to not, yeah, need to hunt down that Defiler. Defiler and Lurker are gonna go down. Small mercies here for Tucson. Trying to take the high ground to potentially be able to punch through is pushing in, forcing a cancellation. Scourge arriving too early and it looks like an Overlord gonna get picked off, putting Machine in the red as well. Still, I don't believe this natural expansion is under that much of a threat. Well, I don't know, there's one Lurker here. Machine is in the red. The Mutalist pushing up. The Marines now pushing in. Science vessels have taken some damage. There's Lurkers and Defilers. And in classic Machine style, defense at the very last second in play so Tucson not able to capitalize and breach troops are streaming across the map potentially to attack the bottom left hand base I'm not sure if this was a cancellation or I missed an attack here at the bottom left I think it might have been a cancellation Nidus Canal being rebuilt drop ships in position maybe to load up and maybe Tucson can use this to get back in the match He's grabbing his third, just hoping that Machine isn't going for a counterattack. We are seeing those big beefy Ultras start to get into position. Drops over the high ground. The night is not yet finished. So it is possible that Tucson very rapidly going to be able to wipe out this base. Only a single Lurker and four Zerglings to defend it. This is exactly what Tucson needed.
So Tucson able to drop a large attack force and wipe out this hatchery in the bottom left. However, a machine moving up with a good, the Ultralisks are on the way, a stream of Zerglings as well to force a cancellation at Tucson's third. Need to burrow those lurkers. Dark Swarm's there. The Defiler gets irradiated. So it might not be GG here, but this is looking scary. Level three carapace versus level two weapons. So Tucson can chew through these Ultralists if they don't have the Dark Swarm support. Machine a little bit sloppy here and there. Gonna go ahead and try to grab that six o'clock base. Ultralisks having trouble catching up with that army. And there's still the leftovers across that three o'clock. Looks like that Ultralisk is just gonna wander up and solo all of them. Three Ultralisk is gonna go ahead and clean up that bottom left hand base as well. Tucson in kind of a very rapid shift, trying to load up that dropship to force Machine back. However, Ultralisk, there's a lot of Ultralisks out on the field right now. Two of them swinging back to go ahead and engage these dropships. The dropship's going to reposition and try to drop at the six o'clock location, but plenty of Ultralisks and some lurkers there to wipe out what is left. At the very least, this is keeping Machine on the defensive, but those dropships now damaged only three Marines and a medic left. At least Tucson able to confirm that yes, there's a six o'clock base. Machine with the supply lead still might end up losing this hatchery if he doesn't get a move on though. Zerglings flooding in there, but Ultralis and Zerglings flooding in to the third to once again deny it. And now, yeah, Tucson just gonna GG right there. And with that, Machine wins and advances to the Hasu League Finals to take on Kiko. Great matches. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.